Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Eric and today I want to show you guys how to clean your small outboard after salt water use. In the past week or so I've done a couple of trips to Anclo Key and Shell Key. I will put some links on below about those trips that I took if you guys are curious. And I've got the outboard quite dirty. It's got all kinds of salt and mineral deposits and I want to show you guys, you know, how to clean it. So without further ado, let's get right to it. I will be using to clean this. I'm going to be using something called Simple Clean is a non-toxic biodegradable formula this will make sure that the uh, impeller doesn't get hurt the little rubber that spins the water to get the cooling in the uh, in the little engine and i want to give you guys a little close-up there's all kinds of dirty buildup back there it's nasty and um, i'm gonna be using something called a hyper tough 23 gallon trash can they also call it a slim jim uh, the reason why I use this one is because it uses less water and for me to use it and it's tough enough to hold the outboard right here which I will show you. Some folks like to use these trash cans but it takes a whole lot of water only unless you really have a big outboard and maybe but this is for small outboards. This is a, a 6 horsepower um, Tohatsu. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the outboard right in, show you guys how that looks like and get right to it. Right now, I'm going to take the outboard out of the base, out of the uh, stand itself. Sorry about that. You guys are looking at my ass. The outboard is in place. First, we're gonna do a quick rinse. Grab the hose. under there because some of the salt minerals get stuck in there so you want to make sure that you rinse it at the from the bottom although these little outboards come with good paint so you're not gonna have any rusting per se but still it's good to be safe so now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it and put some detergent in it so I have filled the container all the way above the plate so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take some of this detergent doesn't, doesn't require a lot. This is pretty concentrated. Let's go about so. That's more than enough. This will, uh, The detergent will actually make sure that any minerals or salt are inside the cavities of the cooling system of the uh, outboard will get thoroughly clean. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run it for about 10 minutes or so. I'm going to turn it on. The first five minutes, I'm just going to run it normally. Then I'm going to shut off the gas line so I can run it dry. It'll spend another five minutes running whatever gasoline is inside the uh, carburetor. So whenever I take it out, it'll be dry. So let's get right to it. The engine is running. I do not recommend that you do more than 10 minutes because if, if you happen to use the setup that I have with the little Slim Jim uh, trash can bucket, the water gets really hot like within 10 minutes it'll be almost boiling hot and you don't want the outboard to actually overheat all of this water flowing there's not a big chance for it to overheat but still you want to be you want to take some precaution on that so just gonna let it run for five minutes and turn the gas off and then show you what we do next during this time it's probably a good idea to run the gear a little bit so if there's any debris within the gear uh, within the propeller be a good idea to run it a little bit reverse forward and although it's a small bucket it actually has plenty of space to run the propeller without hitting the sides so it's pretty good I'm also gonna put some links of these materials that I'm using below from Amazon so if you want to use it as reference or even purchase I'm gonna put it down there for your convenience as well all right so it's been about five minutes I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the gas line Right now, I'm gonna just let it run until it dries out, you know, the carburetor itself, and then show you guys what we do next. All right, so now that the engine has been run dry, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the outboard into the carrying uh, trolley. Yes, we're gonna give it a nice little dry. Go ahead and grab like a little rag of any sort. And you're gonna start drying it out. All the excess water that may have accumulated at the bottom. 
and after this, it'll be back to storage. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video informative, and I hope to guys see you guys on the next video. Later.